So at this time, I'd like the children to please come forward for a special blessing. Boys and girls, as we celebrate the Easter season, when we celebrate Jesus' resurrection from the dead, we ask a blessing upon you that your hearts and your minds be open to his word. And we ask this blessing upon you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome everyone. As you know, I always like to begin with an introduction of our names. So I'm Wendy, and if you guys could please share your names with the group for us. Okay, so today we're celebrating Trinity Sunday, and we're going to be talking about the three persons, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So I'm going to just start by lighting the candle. And if you can repeat the prayer that I like to say, Jesus is the light no darkness can put out. And just as a reminder that he's here with us, lighting the way and guiding us in our lives. Okay, so now I'm going to stand. And as I normally do, we're going to sing the Alleluia. And as you know, my singing voice isn't the best. So I want you guys to sing along with me nice and loud. Okay, all right. Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, give praise to God's name. All right, very nice. Now we're going to remain standing for the gospel. So a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And we say, glory to you, O Lord. And now do you guys remember why we make the sign of the cross on our head, our lips, and our heart? So we're remembering about God. We have him in our words and we have him in our hearts. Jesus said to his friends, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. I want you to go and tell everyone what I have done. Help others to be my friends too. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I will always be with you and will help you. This is from the Gospel of the Lord. And we say, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right, everyone can have a seat. So today we're talking about, Jesus said three different things. He said to his friends, that he, and he's also saying to us, that he is very powerful. He says that we should tell others about him and that everyone should be baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and that we should never forget that Jesus will be with us always. Now, have you guys ever seen someone be baptized? I know when we talk about Jesus' baptism, that's happening by John the Baptist in the river. Now, I've never experienced someone being baptized in the river I don't remember my own baptism, but I do remember the baptism of my kids. So that was actually here at St. Cecilia Church. And I bet you guys know someone that's been baptized here at St. Cecilia. We have a prayer called the sign of the cross. When we pray this prayer, we can think of our baptism and we can tell God that we believe in God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, I know you guys all know the sign of the cross, but we should practice it. So our hand to our head, to our chest, and side to side. So it's Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. All right. So now, I don't know. Let's have our prayer for intercessions, okay? And you guys, when I say we pray to the Lord, and you guys answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. For people who are writing June exams, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people who are traveling by car, train, or plane, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Especially with COVID that they're being safe and wearing masks and practicing their social distancing. 
And for all those who have birthdays in June, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I'm just going to finish with a closing prayer. God, our Father, you sent Jesus to tell us about you and the Holy Spirit. Help us to praise you always in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, so we're talking about the sign of the cross. And if you guys don't already know how to do that, something that you can practice. And see this how we are thinking about the Trinity this week. Um, and Trinity means three. I would like for you guys... I know some of you have sent in artwork from last week, and that's awesome and wonderful. And if you guys could send in a picture or something handwritten, it can be words too, of three things that you're thankful for. So the email will be on online, and it can be a picture of three things you're thankful for, or words of three things that you're thankful for. Now, thank you very much for joining us today, and it's time to join the rest of the congregation. Mm -hmm.